Hi there, I'm Colin Lamb. I hope you're doing very well wherever it is that you may happen to be. Cheers to you and cheers to me. I'm doing very well. Thank you very much for asking. And in this video, we're going to be looking at Idol's new track, Dancer, which is going to be off their album, Tank, due to be released on February 16th. Apparently, this was co-produced by Idol's member Mark Bowen with Radiohead collaborator Nigel Godrick and hip-hop producer Kenny Beats. And this track features vocals from LCD Sound Systems' James Murphy and Nancy Huang. And how do I know that? Because I read it in a Pitchfork article, which I'm staring at on my other screen. Uh, on this channel, I can admit the limits of my knowledge. I don't know much about LCD Sound System. I know about Nigel, Nigel Godrich from his Radiohead work. Um, the band Idols itself, I don't know much about. I did kind of follow them when they were all over social media, Instagram and TikTok, etc. For a while there, they blew up on TikTok big time. Um, and I had TikTok for about six months. It kind of coincided with when these guys blew up. And I would spend hours on end in the washroom. I would emerge, you know, after a light bulb had burnt out, I'd come out with dilated pupils. Uh, totally convinced. Uh, in paranoia that China was logging all my keystrokes and stealing all my app data. But anyways, I've recovered, and I'm looking forward to checking out some new tracks from this band. Not what you'd call a big fan, but maybe this track will change my mind. So let's pull this damn thing up, and let's get right on into it. This is Idols with Dancer on the tone, 98 point stolen keystrokes. Makes me feel like I'm going somewhere. The phone hit the hip, shoots a cheap. Push me away like I'm loose of a so to speak. My focus is on the cold, cold butter running down your neck and the sweat. Fist touch, brush hands, feathers ache. We can swing if you prefer, so to speak. My breath moves your hair in a round that's a glance like a pirouette and the sweat. That is a deep bass sound. Droney. Every time I see the singer's face, I feel like I owe him money. And he's gonna knife me if I don't give it to him. good chorus I don't remember a lot of the other tracks I heard but this, this is a this sounds a little more melodic to me this kind of looks like the Black Sabbath paranoid album cover effect
okay. There's something about that singer that just draws you in. He's, he's the intensity there. It's, 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 you know what I was thinking when I was watching him, um, that he kind of has like a Daniel Day Lewis vibe from There Will Be Blood. You know, like, you will dance for me. I am an oil man. I will cut you in a dark alley and leave you bleeding on the street. Now, dance, bitch. I, I don't know. It's some kind of vibe I got off of him there. Now, that that one did seem a little more melodic than the other stuff I've heard. I, when when they came on, I remember a lot of the live footage and that droney guitar with the kind of tremolo effect. A lot of their stuff is, is, I don't really, again, I don't really have the sonic palette to maybe describe it or maybe appreciate it fully, uh, I can freely admit, but... There's something very, very just, it just sounds noisy to me. Now, I will say with nice headphones on, you could really hear what was going on. And maybe a bit of that gets lost in a live performance. That really low bass tone that he had there, that's hard to get out live. Because I'm not too sure, but I think that might be tuned down quite a bit. And to get that to come across live, you need a pretty good in-house system or a fucking giant bass amp that just vibrates people's pants off and then back on and then off again and then they keep the pants off because there's so much vibration you can't get it back up over the vibrated module. Anyways, um, I did enjoy that track. Will I listen to it again? I think I will and I think I'll definitely maybe check out this whole album when it comes out because there's just something about that the intensity of these guys that does draw me in and that song ended somewhat abruptly. And uh, am I wrong? Were there vocals from LCD Sound System on there? I, I Maybe I was too transfixed on that, that tremolo guitar and the intensity of the singer to really notice. But I don't know. I, I, I'm at a loss. I, like I say, I can admit when my knowledge of something ends, I'm not too sure what I heard there. But I do think I enjoyed it. And I'm going to maybe look in, let, get into listening to further stuff down the road. Now, if there's an Idols track that maybe you think I should go back and check out on the channel, please do let me know. But anyways, that's been me. Uh, if you'd like to see more of this stuff, go check out my channel, subscribe to my channel if you feel like it. Take very good care of yourself, and I will see you later.